another individual who has been fighting for freedoms, and I must be, say likely for some time longer than most of us, uh, an individual who happens to be my former boss, is John Carpe. He saw the writing on the wall very early, and he's been taking those charter tramplers out there to court and holding them accountable. Uh, John Carpe is the founder and president of the Justice Centre for Constitutional Freedoms. John has devoted his legal career to defending constitutional freedoms through litigation and education. He considers it a privilege to advocate for courageous and principled clients who take great risks and tremendous personal sacrifices by resisting the unjust demands of intolerant governments and authorities. In 2010, John received the Pyramid Award for Ideas and Public Policy in recognition of his work in constitutional advocacy and for his success in building up and managing a nonprofit organization that defends citizens' freedoms. This man has done so much for the cause of freedom. Let's give him a warm rebel live welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Adam, for the kind introduction. It is a tremendous honor for me to, uh, to have been invited to speak here this morning. Um, I have been struck with the, uh, just a small business item, I've been struck with the worst flu I've had since about 2019. Uh, but I, I sent an email to uh, Ezra and Mariah and the organizers and I said, I'm gonna be here tomorrow at nine o'clock come hell or high water. Uh, but then I've got to go home and go back to bed. Um, now, on the positive side, uh, because I am cruising at a very low altitude, I cannot be held responsible for anything I say this morning. So, uh, you know, silver lining on the cloud. <laughs> but um, uh, it's an honor for me to be here, and I want to thank uh, Ezra and uh, the Rebel for, uh, for inviting me, and I want to thank all of you for uh, your love for Canada, your love for truth, your love for justice, uh, really, all of these groups, um, the, the, the Rebel and uh, True North and the Democracy Fund and the Justice Centre and lots of others, uh, we, we are fellow travellers. We love truth. We care about truth. We love freedom. We love the free society. We love justice. And so uh, we are friendly competitors and, and we're also friends and allies all at the same time. And um, so I'm going to talk a bit about some of uh, the what the Justice Center is, is, is doing currently and conclude with um, kind of an analysis, state of the courts in Canada today and uh, why we should not give up because uh, th there's a lot of bad news on, on, on this front. So uh, we've had some successes recently with trials in Ottawa. We've had uh, lawyers provided by the Justice Center uh, have secured four wins at four trials. 100% uh, success rate. I, I hope that the uh, judge who is hearing the, the, the trial of Tamira Leach is going to take note of those acquittals. Uh, they are precedents that are, uh, that are on the record. Uh, the Crown is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Crown has massive resources to you know, prosecute these, uh, your, your money, well, more specifically Ontario taxpayers, but taxpayers' money, they have massive resources to prosecute. But fortunately, there's enough good Canadians that are contributing to groups like the Democracy Fund and the Justice Centre um, that, uh, so we're, we're pushing back very effectively. Uh, we've got great lawyers in Ottawa. Um, one of the Justice Centre's lawyers is um, defending Chris Barber, who's the, the co-accused with, uh, with Tamara Leach. We also continue to defend Tamara Leach and other Canadians who are defendants in a civil action. Uh, you may have heard of this Ottawa bureaucrat named Zexi Lee. Zexi Lee and some other Ottawa residents are claiming uh, $290 million in damages over uh, a few nights of lost sleep because of horn honking. Which is understandable. I mean, if you took away a few nights of, of my sleep, I'd certainly want 290 million. I mean, that would be, that would be just, wouldn't it? But um, there's important issues at stake in that trial because they are uh, listing as a class anybody who donated to Freedom Convoy. And so the Justice Center is uh, providing lawyers to defend against that. We don't want to have a precedent along the lines of uh, um, that, that, that you can be sued for donating to an organization. So we're, we're, we continue to represent Tamara Leach and, and other Canadians in that, in that civil action. 
Monday, two days from now, we are going before the BC Supreme Court for Phyllis Tatlock and other um, forcibly unemployed BC healthcare workers. In 2021, uh, the BC government, like so, and, and other governments, but this is BC court case in particular, uh, threw healthcare workers out of, out of a job for legitimately exercising their charter right to bodily autonomy.